This is a quick tutorial on how to install a transfer flow diesel refueling tank in the bed of your truck. You will need the following tools for installation. Before beginning installation, verify all parts listed below are included in the installation kit. We'll begin by installing the fuel tank. Place the tank in the bed of the truck. If you are using an electrical lift, there are hooks on the top of the tank to help move the tank into place. The tank should be spaced about one inch away from the head gate and centered between the bed rails. If you have a headache rack, you may need to space the tank further away from the head gate. Also, check the spacing of the tank before drilling to allow room for the fuel pump installation. Mark the mounting holes with a Sharpie marker or paint pen. If you cannot reach the mounting tabs near the cab, attach the Sharpie marker or paint pen to a long stick with some electrical tape. Remove the tank from the mounting area. Measure the mounting hole locations using the head gate and bed corrugations as reference lines. Crawl under the truck. Measure and mark the bed mounting holes on the bottom side of the bed. Again, use the head gate and bed corrugations for reference. Ensure that the bolts have clearance and will not interfere or damage any surrounding hoses or electrical. And make sure that a 1 half inch bolt with provided large shims will fit in the area you have marked. Although there are three holes on each mounting bracket, use only one bolt per bracket. It's okay to drill through the hat section of the bed or lower floor area, but do not drill through the tall edge of the hat section. Make sure your hole goes through a flat area of the hat section or bed. Move any wires, hoses, or obstructions that may be scarred by a drill bit. If you have any doubts about the tank location, double check your measurements and reposition the tank if needed. If you move the tank, you will need to remark the holes on the underside and double check your measurements once again. You are now ready to begin drilling. You will drill from the top down. Please note, the tank cannot be installed on a plastic bed liner insert or bed carpeting. The section the tank sits on or the entire liner will need to be removed. Drill tank mounting holes with a long 1 8 inch drill bit. Verify that the pilot holes came through where marked underneath. Enlarge the tank mounting holes drilled prior, moving from a 1 8 inch drill bit to a 9 16 inch drill bit. Before we place the tank in its final position, now is a good time to drill a 1 and quarter inch hole for the pump wiring harness. Drill the hole 2 inches up from the bottom of the truck bed. Before drilling, make sure the hole doesn't interfere with anything behind it, such as a fuel line or fill neck. Place the tank in its final position. If the holes you drilled are in the low spots of the corrugations, place shims under the mounting brackets to prevent the corrugations from collapsing. It may be necessary to cut the shim to properly fit some pickup boxes. Make sure the weight of the tank is sitting on the bed corrugations and not on the shims. Insert the half inch bolts through the mounting brackets and bed. Secure fasteners with washers and nuts. Torque the nuts to 32 foot-pounds. On some vehicles, it may be necessary to install the bolt from under the truck. Place one shim on the head side of the bolt before installing in the bed hole. On the tank feet, use one shim and the half-inch flange nut to secure the tank. At this point, the refueling tank should be secured in the bed and all the hardware should be properly torqued. Our diesel refueling tanks are compatible with GPI or Fill Right fuel pump kits. These items are sold separately. In this video, we will be installing a GPI fuel pump on the diesel refueling tank. Remove the fuel pump cap using a large pipe wrench. Take care not to damage anything in the area, including the rear window. Thread the suction pipe into the inlet fitting and tighten until snug. After applying Loctite 567 or another pipe thread sealant, Extend the suction cup to its full length and insert into tank opening. This pump mounts directly to the tank. Simply thread the pump on until it is secure. We will now connect our pump to a 12 volt power source. Begin by verifying that the switch is in the off position. Then route the electrical harness to the source of the vehicle's power system. The best route is to find and follow the vehicle's main wiring harness. Be sure to support the wires as necessary and protect them from sharp edges, heat, or anything that could damage the wires. Strip one quarter inch of insulation from the black and red power cord wires. Disconnect the vehicle's ground wire. Insert one end of the fuse into the wire connector and crimp. Insert the red power cord wire into the other end of the wire connector and crimp. 
Make sure the fuse is positioned outside of hazardous areas as close to the battery as possible. Crimp the included eyelets onto the remaining black wire and the end of the red wire. Make a solid electrical connection to the grounded side of the battery with the black wire. Connecting to the battery terminal or the end of the battery cable is recommended. Connect the red wire and black power cords to terminal post rings. Check all connections to make sure they are tight and connected. Install the hose and nozzle by tightening the hose into the pump outlet and the nozzle onto the hose. To turn on the pump, remove the nozzle from the holder and push up the switch lever. You are now ready to start refueling. For more information about our diesel refueling tanks or any of our premier American-made fuel tank systems, visit us at transferflow.com or call 1-800-442-0056.